Okay, this video is how to fix the buffering issues on Kodi on your Amazon Fire Stick. Using your remote, you go to add-ons, highlight program, click on that, and then you're going to go on that yellow one in the middle there called the maintenance tool click on that and then go to system tweaks and then you're gonna go to zero cache enable zero caching settings click on that you're gonna get this message here and just select yes and then done adding new advanced xml click ok and you should be good but one more thing you can do to clear up some space uh, go back either click the uh, this back button here or just the up arrow there and then you're gonna go to general maintenance and then you're going to select the first three you're gonna do this one by one you're gonna click on clear cache and when you're done with that click on erase logs and then after that purge packages and that when you're done with that you should be good what you want to do uh, is actually restart Kodi. So go ahead and press the home button on the fire stick. And that should take you out. If you are on, if you are seeing this screen, there are two different screens. So if you're seeing this screen, you're gonna click on Kodi. Oh, I'm mis mistaken. Go back to that. Uh, press the home button. You're gonna click. Uh, instead of uh, clicking on Kodi, you're gonna highlight. Go to Kodi. Just select it there, and then on your remote, you are going to click on the three uh, lines there that's actually the menu button so click that and you're gonna select app settings so when you click on that menu is going to pop up what you want to do is click on force stop that shuts down Kodi and then after you're done with that click on the you can click on launch application or you can select the uh, back arrow and then click on Kodi again to restart it. If you don't have this screen and you're actually on this screen, you need to do a couple more steps. You need to go down, all the way down to settings, applications, manage installed applications, select Kodi and you're gonna force stop it from here and then after that you know to get back into Kodi you're gonna launch application and that's it if you have any questions uh, email me or leave a comment below thanks